All right, you two, that was a rockin' set. You think he can do it again? I think it's perfect as is. I don't think we need to do it again. Shouldn't we wait for Lydia to do the recording? No. We've made it this far without her. We can do it ourselves. That was a great take, but let's do it one more time from the top. Ugh. And we're live. I'm here. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> Stop the music. Ever heard of Quiet on Set? Sorry, I didn't know we were recording today. Well, you would have known if you showed up on time. I'm sorry, I had a late morning and my mom had to drive my brother to school and... Leave the excuses for someone who cares. Nice outfit, by the way. You look like a kid playing dress up in their mom's clothes. Don't take it so personal, Blondie. She's like that with everyone. You guys... We're recording without me? If it makes you feel better, I fought to wait for you, but... You can only do so much with Ray. Whatever. Let's just get started. Alright, you two. You ready? Ready. And we're live. See you later, Hunter. Bye. Something wrong? Hunter, do you really think I belong in the Rock Angels? I mean, you didn't just invite me out of pity, did you? Of course not. Why would you even think that? Ray just makes me feel like I'm an extra. I'm no more than a crew member like Ethan. Hey, crew members are important too, you know. If it wasn't for Ethan, I don't think we could have gotten this far. So I am a crew member? It's not what I'm saying. I see something in you, Lydia. You're very talented. I asked you to be a part of the Rock Angels because I saw something in you. That very first day of school, I knew you were special. So put your rock star helmet on and start thinking like a rock star, because I know you are one. I didn't just pick you because you're a pretty face. Although that is a bonus. Whoa, Blondie, what are you doing? I, I thought you wanted to. Look, I think you're really cool, but you know I'm dating Ray. Well, from what you tell me, it doesn't seem like you even want to. It doesn't change the fact that I still am. I'm sorry, but we can still be friends, of course. I mean, it's cool to sing love songs and stuff in the band, but I'm afraid that's the extent of it. You don't mean that. At the dance, you... And I enjoyed it, believe me. That moment between you and me was incredible. But maybe I shouldn't have done that. It's not fair to Ray. No matter how mean she can be, she doesn't deserve this. Look, I think you're pretty rad, but... I'm afraid we can't be anything more than friends. Not as long as I'm with Ray. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mr. Wembley's not going to be very pleased when he finds out we ran off. I'm not thinking about that guy. I'm thinking about you, and you only. Do you smell something? Now that you mention it, I kind of do. What is that, a skunk? Oh my god, I can't risk being sprayed by a skunk. No amount of Chanel Number no. 5 is going to cover that up. And I'm going to have to bathe in tomato sauce. And I hate tomatoes. There shouldn't be skunks in the forest. Come on, let's take a walk and see what it is. Dude, do you ever, like, think about Earth and stuff? Like, when you really think about it, man, we're just little living creatures on a rock in space. <sighs> what if, like, we're the aliens to the aliens? Dude, that's some strong shit you got there. Yo, Jake, you wanna hit this? Sure, what the hell. I don't know, that makes more sense. Oh, hey, man. Sorry, we don't have enough to share. No thanks, I'm not interested anyways. Coach said marijuana is bad for the system. Figured I'd find you here. Oh hey Claire. Ah, is she the hottie you're always talking about? Shut up man. It's all chill. I'll make an exception for a cute girl. You wanna hit? What the hell is that? The doobie do that. Weed. <sighs> no thank you. Heather says weed is like totally bad. Besides, I don't consume things that aren't organic. What do you mean? Of course it's organic. I grew it myself. Look, she said no, alright? Alright, it's cool. So, you guys only blaze up on the weekends or what? Trevor, do you mind? What, man? I'm just trying to make some new friends. Here's 20 bucks. Go buy some munchies or something. Bro, a whole $20. We're like, practically rich. Well, I guess now that we know the source of the smell, we can get going now. You don't have to. You can stick around if you want. No thanks, we'll pass. No offense, but I don't want her hanging out with your kind of people. What's that supposed to mean? I don't think you or your buddy is our good influence on Claire. So stay away from her. What, you heard dad or something? I'm just looking out for her. I care for her a lot. So do I. 
Uh, I mean, uh, whatever. If you care for her, you'll stay away. And if you know what's good for you. Hey, you don't tell me what to do. I'll talk to whoever I want. We'll see about that. Why don't we ask her? What'll it be, Claire? You wanna hang around me? Or a bunch of stoners? Cody, you know I'm not good at decision making. Claire, come on, this should be an easy decision. Sorry, Jake. But Claire, would you cut it out? She's made her decision. Lydia, there you are. Oh, hi, Lena. I'm so glad I caught you. The Rock Angels are going to be performing this weekend at a hip new teen nightclub. I'm sorry, Lena, but I'm just not up to it. What do you mean you're not up to it? You're a part of the band. I'm just not in the mood for it. I'm sorry. I mean, you guys have made it along this far without me. Couldn't you just do one gig? But Lydia, this will be our first gig with you. It'll be so special. Please, you have to come. You just got to. Oh, all right. What kind of gig is it anyway? A nightclub? Only the most super scorched in hangout in Rolling Meadows. You're gonna love it. The most happening music. Non-alcoholic drinks, but I mean, you can't have everything. Cute boys. It does sound like a good time, I guess. Oh, Lydia, you're just gonna love it. The Rock Angels have performed there so many times. It's gonna be your first time. You are gonna kill it, girlfriend. See you later. Hey, ladies. The Rock Angels are gonna be performing at Red Hot Nightclub this weekend. Interested? Sounds like a fun time. We'll definitely consider rockin'. Hope to see you babes in the front row. Yo, Ashman, I heard there's this really cool nightclub going on this weekend. You gonna ask Heather or what? I don't think so, Trevor. That ship has sailed. Yeah, dude, where have you been? <laughs> Probably blazing it up, man. Ash, just take it from old Trev, Meister, all right? You know, chicks, they're just like skateboards. At first they're hard to understand, and then you get used to it. Did you just compare Heather Sinclair to a skateboard? Didn't you just hear what I said? Some people, am I right, Ash? So what you're saying is... I shouldn't give up? Hell no, man! What do you do when you fall off a skateboard? You get back on, and you try it again. Wow. Thanks, Trevor. Dude, you're not actually buying this shit, are you? Whoa, hold up, man. If you're trying to buy something, you gotta meet me behind the school. Can't be showing it off around the hallway. Oh, no. I don't smoke. You're lost, dude. More for me. What's up, Heather? You trying to find a date for the nightclub? Not with you. How about me? Sorry, Nick. You're too wet of a kisser. What about me? I don't even know who you are. It's Greg. We're next door neighbors. There she is, Ash. The girl of your dreams, just a few feet away. All that's standing in between you is the confidence boost. Why even bother? She's just gonna say no. You guys know that. Duh, just remember what I say. Would I ever lead you astray? Uh... Get on ah. over there! Don't you remember every Christmas your mom invites me and my family over? Doesn't ring a bell. See you later, Jimmy. It's Greg. <gasps> ah. Ugh. Hey, we gotta stop bumping into each other like this. <laughs> Do I have to file a restraining order against you? Uh, sorry. I just tripped over my own feet. You're definitely tripping. I know that much. Look, I know you said you don't want to see me again, but... I just had to ask. Will you go to the nightclub this weekend with me? Before you answer, I'll pay for transportation, food, tickets, drinks, everything. I promise. Look, how about we make a deal? Just this one date, Heather. Just this once. If we go on this date and you don't have a good time, I promise I'll never speak to you again. Is that a deal? <sighs> and is that a promise? I never go back on my word. <sighs> Fine. I'll go out with you. Yes! But try not to embarrass me, if that's even possible for you. I mean, there's gonna be so many kids from school there. Hey, don't sweat it, babe. This is the Ashmeister you're talking to here. I got this. See you then. Ugh. <sighs> Always tie your laces. Uh, 